Okay, that story from Eldoret ushers us into the next segment right here, News Diary, all to do with what Kenyans are talking about on the social media platforms. I'm joined by a digital reporter. We call him Ray. Officially, he's Raymond Mude. So, Ray, karibu sana. Good morning. Sante, good morning. How are you today? I can't complain yourself. My crystal ball is broken now. It's, it's no longer raining when I come here. It seems so. That's an old <laughs> joke right now. Eh? <laughs> Anyway, so I, I was going through X, which mm -hmm. is formerly Twitter, and one of the big stories is all to do with a celebrity couple that seems to have parted ways. Yeah. And as one leader said, it's noisy, it's messy, you know? So Kenyans are definitely making this their own affair in terms of questioning why this happened and adding fuel to the fire, quote unquote. So which couple has separated? What do we need to know about them? So celebrity couple, uh, Kate Actress and Philip Karanja, normally known as uh, field director, have come out clearly to announce that they are going to separate after... Uh, I, I think they have some differences here and there, but they've said they have called it uh, quits. They w w wedded in November 2017. Mm -hmm. That's about uh, clocking six years now in marriage. And as of April this year, it was becoming apparent that the, their marriage was becoming strained. People were starting to question whether they are still together because Kate Actress was uh, seemingly deleting all photos of a field director on her page. But she posted again to say that they are still together. And uh, now they've come out with a joint statement, that was about two days ago, mm -hmm. and said that uh, they're officially parting ways, and um, they're requesting for privacy from netizens, who have not spared them, by the way, <laughs> yeah. but they're requesting for privacy for the sake of their children. We wish them all the best, and we'll accord them all the privacy they need. Well, that's one of the unfortunate sides of having your... Uh, relationship in the public limelight. Absolutely. Once it hits the rocks, uh, Kenyans will definitely make it their mm. business, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, we definitely wish the separated couple all the best as mm. they continue with their lives. Let's shift focus to City Matters and I understand Eldoret City will be joining, is it Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, mm. I think Nakuru acclaimed city status as yes. well. Yes, yes. amongst the other cities in the country. Mm. So what makes Eldoret get the status? Yeah. Uh, it is usually, um, first of all, the Senate Committee mm. on Devolution and Intergovernmental Relations of course has recommended that Eldoret Municipality be granted city status as, as complied with the, the requirements. Some of these requirements are like uh, to having 250,000 residents, having an integrated ur urban development plan, um, capacity to generate revenue, which has o o been uh, of course accelerated by the presence of counties and the devolved governments, and provision of essential services to residents. There's a few that have not yet been met. They have to collaborate with the Kenya National Museums to build a museum and develop uh, and implement plans for urban development mm -hmm. and implement public-private partnerships. There is a lot of talk about this on Twitter because people are wondering, is it really ready to be <laughs> granted the city status? Of course, we've seen a lot of scandals. The Finland scandal was in, of course, in the same town, mm -hmm. which is in Wasingishu County. There's the job scam. There's also, you just ran a story about uh, parents threatening to go naked in the same town. There's a lot of uh, talk around this. Kenyans are questioning whether it is really city status, ready for city status. But as it seems, the Senate committee is, is leaning towards that side. We wait to see whether they'll, they'll pass the, the remaining threshold okay. and whether they'll be elevated to, whether Eldred will be elevated to city status. Well, the ball is already rolling in terms of Eldred getting that city status. Only yeah. time will tell, mm. but he's definitely highlighted some of the requirements. Thanks for that. Let's talk about the big story of mm. the last 24 hours, all to do with the Cabinet Secretary for Trade, Moses Kuria, who was under fire due to some comments he made yes. that were sort of insensitive, according to mm. Kenyans, as he was uh, criticizing the uh, what, what Kenyans were talking about in terms of the rising cost of living, the rising cost of fuel, and he was quoted saying, Kuchimba Kisimayenyo. So it definitely acted a couple of Kenyans, and it seems the government is equally trying to... Uh, 
how do I put it correctly? It's trying to put its affairs in order. Yeah. So what's the latest move, even as we understand the cabinet secretary has apologized? So, yes, he has actually apologized. Mm -hmm. This is in reference to the previous tweet he had made about the price of fuel rising by 10 shillings every month mm -hmm. until February 2024, which caught Kenyans. Uh, in fact, he's very daring because he went on Twitter. Kenya's most brutal force, <laughs> disarmed, but most brutal force. <laughs> so he went on Twitter and said the price of fuel will be rising by 10 shillings every month until February 2024. And then now he has withdrawn the statement and he has cited that he is, was advised by Senator Boni Halwale in respect to Senator Boni Halwale and his masters. Kenyans are asking, who are these masters of Boni Halwale? Mm. There's also um, speculation that there could be a spot between him and the deputy president. We have not yet ascertained that. But there is, uh, you know, in politics, there's that veiled, uh, veiled attacks here and there. So we've seen that with him and, uh, and, and the deputy president. But uh, he issued a mock apology. We call it mock a because mock. Okay. It, it, uh, Kenyans are questioning, really. Is it really an apology? Is it not an apology? I mean, the way he addressed it was quite satirical. Mm -hmm. But he has been trending on Twitter for that particular reason. Um, yeah, people questioning, was it honest or not? Okay, that, that's interesting. And uh, the latest we've heard is that perhaps the offices of uh, the trade ministry might be moving from uh, the where they're currently resided at the Two Rivers Mall. We'll definitely authenticate that particular piece of news a little bit later on in the day. But that's the latest. It's all a day in politics. They say a day in politics is almost like a lifetime. So Absolutely. we'll definitely see a lot more in terms of the back and forth within government. But that's all to do with the Cabinet Secretary for Trade, Moses Kuria, who sort of apologized. Shift in focus, still within the precincts of Parliament right now, we want to talk about one of the senators who found herself on the receiving end just yesterday. And I understand there were Senate proceedings which brought up that particular um, decision that she should be suspended for six months. What's the reason for this particular suspension? Who is affected and how long, you know? So nominated Senator Gloria Oroba has been suspended from the Senate for six months. This is a uh, uh, duty that is carried out by the Senate Powers and Privileges Committee. This is in uh, relation to uh, some claims of sexual favors and discrimination against the Senate that he made in, uh, she rather, made in a WhatsApp group that was, is also affiliated to the Senate. Mm -hmm. She was invited to substantiate the claims, but uh, it turns out she was a no-show, and, and so she was uh, barred from accessing the Senate. She has now been effectively barred from accessing the Senate and anything that is related to it for the next six months. And before she is allowed back in, she'll be required to make an apology before the bar. Remember, she was very controversial some time back after she appeared in Parliament with a stained pants, you know, advocating for against menstrual shame. I've also seen billboards of uh, her advocating for the same uh, in and around the city. But this one, uh, some leaders have said it is, a, it is one of the harshest punishments in, uh, since the formation of the Senate. And of course, there's a lot of talk about this. Kenyans on Twitter uh, seem to agree with this decision. Some of them say it's a, she's a lot, she has a lot of drama. But um, I mean, people are entitled to their opinions. Gotcha. Yeah, so Twitter, Twitter is ablaze with this story, actually. <laughs> people, it's trending. It's been trending last night, actually. Well, it would be proper to know if she risks losing her position. You know, I think mm. there's a limit in terms of the number of sittings yeah. uh, a leader, a member of parliament should miss mm. before they actually lose that position. Mm. We'll find out and definitely keep you updated. Yeah. But that's the latest in terms of that decision made by the Power and Privileges Committee in the Senate. Mm. As we finalize, and quite briefly, because it would be improper to finish without this, because mm. Kenyans really talked about it. Yeah. The First Lady was in New York, all to do with the United Nations General Assembly that's yes. currently ongoing in the United States, mm. but something to do with the uh, famous pastor, Benny Hinn, mm. caught Kenyans by surprise. What's mm. going on? So Benny Hinn, apparently the First Lady, Rachel Ruto, has invited Benny Hinn for a nationwide crusade in Kenya that will be funded by the government. Oh. So now Kenyans are uh, irate about this whole issue, by the way. I've seen a whole thread on this one. 
and Kenyans are asking, we have more pressing issues uh, affecting the country. Was this really, really necessary? And also something that people are picking, an issue that people are picking on Twitter is that the first lady actually went, traveled to the United States to request for this particular crusade. So there's, in fact, there's one Kenyan who was asking whether it's, it was really necessary. There's emails, there's phone, uh, phone calls you can make. Mm -hmm. So it, it, is, it is really something that is